does bacaba, also known as bacaba moneri, does it help memory? Supplement companies think so because I see bacaba in memory enhancement nootropic supplements. And the question is, does it really work? So in this video, I'm gonna show you the human research on bacaba to give you a better idea if it's gonna work for you. I'll tell you the dosage, we're gonna talk side effects and things that we still don't understand. Let's go. So what is bacaba, also known as bacaba maniri, just a plant, grows all over the world, uh, in, all, in the US, India, Australia, just a few other countries as well. In Ayurvedic medicine, it has over a 1,000 year track record, historical track record for improving memory. So that's a pretty long reputation, okay. But what does the human clinical studies actually show? Let me show you some of the studies that I found. So we have this investigation, the acute short-term, acute means short-term, effects of Bacaba and Mary on cognitive function in healthy, normal people. So they give these individuals 300 milligrams of Bacaba or a placebo, and then two hours later, they give them a memory test, and these researchers conclude, uh, no, it didn't work. They're showing that Bacaba didn't work, but I wouldn't expect it to work, to be honest with you, because this was two hours later. I think if you're going to see an improvement in, by an herbal supplement, it's going to take several weeks to months to see significant improvements. So I tend to discount things that only lasted uh, like an hour or two. Uh, but fortunately, this is not the only study out there. Let's look at the others. So we have this investigation. The effects of a standardized Bacaba Maneri extract on cognitive performance, anxiety, and depression in older individuals. It's a randomized old blind placebo controlled trial. That's the best kind out there. So what's good about this study? It's a three month study, that's good. These are people in their 70s, that's good as well. And they started with 54 people, but they ended with 48, that's okay. Most people completed the study, that's also good. They gave them 300 milligrams of Bacaba or placebo for three months. And what do they find? People taking the Bacaba had improved memory. That's basically what happened. They're saying they're an improvement in delayed word recall memory. Delayed word recall means you learn a bunch of words and then at some point in the future, they ask you to remember those words and say them back. That's improvement of memory. That's pretty darn good. The other thing they find here is Bacaba reduces anxiety in some of these people as well. That's quite interesting. I do, I do think we need to more, more research on Bacaba and anxiety. Uh, again, it's, it, for the enterprising college students watching me right now, this actually be a pretty good uh, thesis thing to talk to, to do in college. Uh, no, no improvement in depression, okay, so that's one thing. But the fact that it appeared to improve memory, that's a plus. Not the only study. Here's another one. The long-term effects of Bacaba on human memory, 66 people between the ages of 40 and 65 years. They're given between 300 and 450 milligrams of Bacaba, again, for three months. What do they find? Bacaba decreases the rate of forgetting newly acquired information. What does that mean? Well, their memory improved. <laughs> it's basically what, it's exactly what it means. They decreased the rate of forgetting uh, newly acquired information, their memory improved. So that's another plus in the Bacaba category. Here's another one. Does Bacaba improve memory performance in older persons? I didn't like the fact that they call people over 55 older, but it is what it is. Uh, 98 people, these are healthy people, by the way. Uh, they're given a specific type of a supplement called BacoMind. I've actually seen that in other dietary supplements. 300 milligrams a day is what they use, or placebo. The study lasts three months. That's good. What do they find? Yeah, it appeared to improve memory again. Uh, they're saying in this investigation, Bacaba significantly improved verbal learning, memory acquisition, the taking in of new memories, new information, and delayed recall. Again, they could remember things longer. That's good as well. Moving right along, we have this other investigation, chronic effects of Bacaba Neri on cognitive function in healthy human subjects. What are we going, what's going on here? They give them 300 milligrams of Bacaba or placebo. And then once again, they're finding that Bacaba improves memory. 
Here's their conclusions. Bakaba, you know, may may improve. They're saying here may improve higher order cognitive processes such as learning and memory. So again, another positive investigation here. One more study here, the examination of the neurotropic effects, that's brain enhancement effects, of bacabomineri on human cognitive function. It's a three-month double-blind placebo-controlled trial. Double-blind placebo-controlled, that's the best kind. So what do we got going on here? 62 people for 90 days, they're given 300 milligrams of bacaba, and they're actually using a specific type here. Uh, it's called Keen Mind or a placebo. Again, it's a placebo controlled trial. And the researchers conclude here that the, the current study provides support for the two other published studies uh, that appear to show that this particular dietary supplement uh, improves memory in healthy people after 90 days. Again, it, 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 I like the fact that it's a 90 day study. That's a good thing. Again, remember they are using in this particular study, healthy people. I'll keep that in mind for in a minute. We'll talk more about that. And then we come to this investigation. This is a meta-analysis, a study of other studies. So here they looked at previous studies on Bacaba, nine previous human studies on Bacaba involving over 400 people. Their conclusion, Bacaba improves memory and it actually decreases what they call decrease in choice reaction time. Uh, that's fancy talk for it didn't take you long to make a decision. That's what that means. So if you're trying to decide between two things, you can easily make a better choice. Okay, so that's pretty good as well. So overall, we've got several investigations which appear to show that Bacaba improves memory in healthy people. Let me throw some frequently asked questions at you here. Number one, are all the studies positive? And I would say no. There are some studies that show Bacaba does not work. That said, most of the investigations that I uncovered did appear to show Bakaba had some improvement in memory. So yes, there are some downside, there are some negative studies, but more studies than not show that something appears to be going on. How much? Well, as I, again, I kept trying to tell you the dosage in these different studies. Most studies use about 300 milligrams of Bacaba a day for three months. Uh, one, one I, again, did use up to 450 milligrams, but the vast majority of them keep it around 300. So again, if you're analyzing your own supplements, again, this is in memory supplements. This will give you an idea if they're giving you an effective dose or not. Is it real life significant? And this is actually important because clinical studies are performed under laboratory conditions. And just because something is clinically significant in the laboratory, does that really mean that it's gonna help you remember where you left your cell phone in the real world? I think we need more studies to look into this. Laboratory clinical significance and real life clinical significance may not always mean the same thing. What I'm saying here is results may vary. Also, what about people with dementia? What about people with Alzheimer's disease? We don't know the answer to this yet. If you watch this video again, you'll notice healthy people were the people used in these studies. So Bakaba may improve the memory of healthy people, at least under laboratory conditions, but is Bakaba gonna help somebody with dementia remember their grandkids' names? That is the question that we don't know the answer to yet, and I'm hoping better studies come out in the future. In terms of side effects, gang, so mostly pretty mild for the most part. These are just a few of the side effects that I saw in some of the studies. Gastrointestinal issues, diarrhea, stomach cramps, stuff like that, nauseousness. Uh, I did see one investigation where there was an, actually an increase in appetite was reported in some people, not everybody, but some people. Heart palpitations have been reported in some people, not everybody, dry mouth headaches. Bottom line, when you are starting any new dietary supplement, whether it's Bacaba or anything, you always start with less. You start with the least amount you can take for the first week or so, maybe three, just to see if you have any side effects. So if you're taking the least, side, the least amount you can, if there are any side effects, you'll have less of them. Okay, so something to think about. It's something I do myself. Any new supplement, you start with less than is recommended for the first couple of weeks just to see what happens. And it goes without saying, if you take any medications, 
you really want to talk to your doctor first. There haven't been a lot of Bacopa drug trials to see if it interacts with medications or not. So whether it's prescription or whether it's an over-the-counter medication, run this past your doctor and pharmacist, see what they got to say. Because by the time you see this video, we may know more about Bacopa than what we know right now. So there you have it. Does Bacaba work? I would say the research says probably it may under laboratory conditions. I want to see some better studies. I am going to link in the description to the actual supplements that have been used in the research themselves. You can check them out. And I'm also going to try to find some other quality supplements that, of Bacaba 2 for you. So if you've tried Bacaba, let me know in the comments uh, if it helped you or not. Again, I'm, I'm curious about this because I see Bacaba a lot in dietary supplements. That's it for now. Until next time, gang, I'm Joe Cannon. Go out, be safe, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.